Hello, I'm Joshua Farnsworth, and I want to share with you the best way that I've found after several years of searching to remove rust from metal parts, more specifically from uh, woodworking, traditional woodworking tools. Uh, there's a lot of rust on these old tools. Uh, I've tried a lot of things. I've tried electrolysis, where you hook up uh, car, char car battery charger leads to the metal. Um, that didn't work so well, and it's kind of expensive and hard to set up. I've tried evapo rust and crud cutter, things like that. They're expensive and they they kind of worked, but really expensive. I've tried vinegar. It had some side effects. It was okay. But the best thing I've found by far has been you making up a simple solution of citric acid with water. And before you freak out, oh, acid. No, it's not what you think. It's just, uh, it's in the, it's safe in the canning section. You could put your hands in it. You could pour it down your drain. It's not going to hurt you. I wear gloves because, uh, I often, uh, I often have little cuts on me. Um, but I store it here in this protein sheet, protein shake container. I washed it out first and I just have like a, a quarter cup here, quarter cup, um, spoon. But before, before I do that, what I do is I make sure I clean off the parts because uh, these above the rust is usually a lot of just crud, uh, dirt, and grime. So what I first do is I wash these down with mineral spirits and a toothbrush, and I scrub it really well. And then I I use some of my bike and tool degreaser. You can check out the accompanying blog post to find out all the products that I use for this, and I'll share the best prices that I've found. Um, I spray that in all the little holes here to get out the grease out of the screw holes. And uh, I wipe it down with paper towels. And then once I do that, I'm ready to, to rock and roll. So I get a container and I fill it with hot water, warm water, not so hot that it's going to burn your hands to the point where I know it's going to cover my all the parts here. Uh, in case you're wondering, I did not take this little lever adjuster off. And I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, and then I simply mix about a, depending on how much water you have, I mix about a quarter cup to a half a cup at a time and uh, have something to stir it with and I just stir it in while I'm mixing it. And the warm water will help the, uh, will help the citric acid to dissolve faster. So the key is, is then to just stick your parts in, your metal parts that are rusted. I don't, I'm not going to do the big hand plane because I don't have a container big enough and I'll, I'll find some other ways to remove rust from that um, later and drop it in, drop all these parts in and the thing that you want to look for and make sure to be careful of is, or not to be careful of, but the thing to watch for, so you're sticking these in here, for, is after about a minute or two, if, if this uh, solution should be bubbling up and getting the rust off, loosening the rust. And if it's not, then what you need to do is um, add a little bit more and stir it in. But my solution here is bubbling up. Uh, and so I like to leave it for about an hour. You can do a little bit less. But then after an hour, uh, you can go back and start scrubbing and the rush should start coming off. So if after an hour your uh, parts don't, your metal parts, the rust isn't coming off really easily with a wire brush or a toothbrush, uh, just give it another hour or so, but I don't usually go past two hours. So you can see here how nice the rust came off. It uh, is ready to be polished up if you need to polish it and ready to put the, to put the, some lube on and uh, put the parts back together. Uh, so if I really hope this has helped, you can, again, like I say, you can find all the resources at woodandshop.com and there's a blog post that accompanies this. You can find the link in the YouTube description. Uh, so if you enjoyed this, check out my website on traditional, how to get started in traditional woodworking. And somewhere up here, there's a little subscribe, blue subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So thanks for watching.